Hi, I'm Amy Hannon, and nothing thrills me more than people and food. I'm a preacher's wife, a mom of three, and I own my own specialty kitchen store. I've kept an open door and a well-stocked fridge, which means I have fed a lot of mouths over the years. So welcome to my kitchen. This is Cooking Today. Hi, welcome to Cooking Today. Look at all these great ingredients that we have going today. We're baking. I've got my apron on to protect my shirt. We have got the most amazing sour cream blueberry streusel muffins that we're going to make today. Y'all, these are showstoppers. I'm telling you, you'll be so proud of how these look when they're done. And they taste like a bakery. I have taken these to friends. I have taken these to breakfast little get-togethers. I make them a lot of times when we have company in town because they are such a hit. And I'm gonna show you in just a little bit a real pretty trick on making these pretty fun paper liners to go in your muffin pans. This is a fun day. You're gonna love these, y'all. Let's get started, you ready? The best part is probably the crumb topping. We love a crumb topping around here. We've put it on our apple crisp and all kinds of things. And it is basic. We have flour and sugar, okay? And all of our measurements and full recipes are on our website. And to the flour and sugar, we are gonna add a teaspoon and a half of cinnamon. Gosh, I love cinnamon so, so much. And this sounds like a lot. If you wanna pull back a little bit on the cinnamon and the crumb topping, you certainly can. But I love it. And these blueberry muffins have sour cream in them. And so they're kind of creamy and then those tart berries are so pretty, they just burst open inside these muffins. And so that little bit of cinnamon on the top gives it just that tiny bit of spice that we are crazy about. So we've added our cinnamon to our flour and sugar and we're gonna add a pinch of salt. Cause you know, salt cuts the sweet. It's such a good bite. And so these are our dry ingredients and I'm just using a pastry cutter. You could use two forks if you would like. And I'm just giving this just a little stir to kind of incorporate my dry. And then what I have here is a quarter cup of unsalted butter. I've chosen unsalted because I put salt in this dry ingredient already. If all you have in your refrigerator is salted butter, then I would either remove or cut down on the salt in the dry. Does that make sense? You just don't want to be too salty. So I have this butter. It's been sitting at room temperature for about 30 minutes or so. And I just want to cut this into some little cubed pieces to make it easy to incorporate. Look, I'm making a little butter wall right there. And we're just going to drop these in to our dry ingredients. Oh my goodness, this crumb. And what's so fun about this crumb, there's a lot of it. And so this makes, this recipe actually makes 12 muffins and every muffin is just coated, like loaded and piled high with the crumb topping. Oh, this is the difference maker right here. This bowl, mm, this is the difference maker. You could absolutely make this recipe without this crumb topping if you were in a pinch or a hurry, or you didn't have all the ingredients to get going, you know, on the crumb. And the muffins are fabulous alone. But these, this crumb, over the top muffins, y'all. And they are so, so pretty. I mean, beautiful muffins. This is one that I've actually had on the Unimaze blog, I don't know, for probably a year or two. And people make them over and over. And these are the ones that people will stop me in the grocery store and tell me I made those muffins. They are amazing. So that's a good little endorsement, isn't it? And it's spring, and we're going to start having company come for Easter and holidays, and you've got brunches. This spring just feels like a brunch season, doesn't it? Kind of like bridal showers and Mother's Day and all of those kinds of things. So this is a great recipe to have for what I consider to be brunch season. So I'm just using my fingers to get that kind of that stuff that's gathered up the, and my bracelets are banging. I'm so sorry. You know, I always cook in my jewelry. People always ask me, do you really cook in all that? And I really, I really do. What you see is what you get around here. 
licked spoons and all. Okay, so I've given this a good little mash and it is pretty well incorporated. Now this isn't going to come all the way together like a batter and it's not going to come together like a dough. It's going to be crumbly, so you can probably see it's a little bit powdery, a little bit crumbly, and it's just fine. So we want it that way because once we bake it, the butter, those buttery pieces are going to just melt and combine that all together and it's going to be amazing. So we have our crumb topping. I've already pre-measured some of our ingredients and we have our oven preheating on 400. It's pretty high because we're just going to bake these little muffins in our muffin tin. And then when we come back, we're going to start making our dough, our batter, and stirring these beautiful blueberries. And we are going to make the most amazing blueberry muffins you've ever seen. This is cooking today. Did you know that you should have a lot of bowls in your kitchen? I mean, think about how many bowls that you use when you're cooking little ones and big ones and wood ones and stainless ones and glass ones and big, huge ceramic bowls. Stock up. You're going to love having that many, and I believe that you will end up using them all over time. And I really believe in my whole heart that you should find the biggest mixing bowl in the world and buy it. You will never go wrong with having one big, big mixing bowl in your house. Bowls, they are the most functional thing in your kitchen. Cooking Today, sponsored by West Rock Coffee Company. Hi, we're back. We are making beautiful sour cream streusel blueberry muffins. We have made the streusel topping already. We have just combined with our little pastry blender. You can use two forks. We have made this topping that is butter and flour and sugar and a lot of cinnamon because we love that flavor in these and a bite of salt and that's it. And we've got that set aside and we're going to start making our batter for these blueberry muffins. Y'all, I'm telling you, this is a great time for you to make these. It's just brunch season. These are wonderful for Easter. You can make these. If you keep these in a Tupperware container, they're going to stay fresh and delicious for several days. If you store them nice and airtight, they are great at room temperature. They're really good warmed. They're really good with butter, even maybe a little honey butter. I mean, you name it. This is timeless and so good. So we have our streusel going. Our oven is preheated to 400 again. We have flour, sugar, eggs, milk, all the good stuff that you put in a batter. And we're gonna start by just mixing our dry ingredients first. And this is just regular old all-purpose flour. And it is one and a half cups. And then we have three quarters of a cup of white sugar. And you can get these recipes on our website for all the measurements. Then I have a pinch of salt or so, just a little. And we're going to incorporate two teaspoons of baking powder. Not baking soda, they're different, but they serve as a leavener, which actually raises your muffins. Okay? So those are our dries, and I've just got a whisk here to whisk together our flour, sugar, little salt, and our baking powder, because we want that mixed pretty well before we add in our wet ingredients. And then I like to just make a little well, right kind of in the middle. But when I add in my um, wet ingredients, it just kind of makes it incorporate a little bit better. And I'm gonna use my spoon. There we go. I just like to have a little well right in the middle. Okay, and I've got right here canola oil and milk. And when I bake, I really like to use a fuller fat milk, either whole milk or maybe 2%. I don't like um, using, you know, like a skim or 1%. I just think that when you bake, it just makes it so nice and rich and it gives it so much flavor and there's just moisture that it gives when it's got all that fat in there. And so that's what I have in that um, particular milk is a full fat milk. So milk and oil, okay, we've got that in there. And then just one room temperature egg. I use a large brown, cage free. And then I'm going to add about a teaspoon or so of vanilla. 
This is that good Unimaze vanilla that we make in our store. It's, it's so good, y'all. It's one of our very best sellers. It is oh, such a treasure. That's a great little hostess gift, too. If you have a little shower or something coming up and then you need a little treasure to give to your hostesses or, you know, somebody's having you over for dinner and you don't want to show up empty-handed, that's one of our favorites is a Unimaze vanilla. Okay, so we've incorporated or we are incorporating our wet into our dry. And I've just transitioned to a wooden spoon to kind of do this. Now, when you're making a batter like this, it's not a cake mix. So, you know, when you're making a cake, you really, you know, you do it in your mixer and you get that whisk going or your beater and you really beat. And sometimes it'll even say beat for two minutes because you want all the clumps to come out. A batter is not that way, like a quick bread or a batter like this. You really want to do it by hand. And it's okay that it's not going to be smooth. It gives those muffins that great texture and that crumb and all the good good stuff that we love about a bread like this. So don't just go to town on this stirring, stirring, stirring. You just want to incorporate it so that it's just mixed. Mmm. Ooh, it smells good. Okay. And then our last two ingredients that we need to add, two of the best ingredients of all, sour cream. And again, I'm using whole sour cream and not a reduced fat. If you are counting it and you need to reduce, then you just go ahead and reduce. But you might want to just try it one time with the, good, with the full stuff. So this is about a third a cup of sour cream. Oh, so good. Okay. And I'm going to incorporate that real quick. And that's going to continue to make this a little bit smooth. Mmm. It's thinning it out just a little bit. It smells fantastic. I use sour cream in my pound cake sometimes. Mm, it's just delicious. Okay, and see how that kind of incorporated that and smoothed it together a little? Made it feel a little bit more, you know, incorporated and smooth and silky. And lastly, we're gonna add in a cup of blueberries. And I got my blueberries at Harps. They have some beautiful ones right now. Beautiful blueberries. If you have some frozen ones from your summer, then use those. So I'm going to gently fold these in. We do not want to mash the blueberries like crazy. Some of them are going to mash, but we're just going to fold them gently, gently. And when we come back, we are going to make beautiful parchment paper cups and fill these and top them with streusel. You're going to love it. This is Cooking Today. Ice Tea, sponsored by Lipton. Welcome back. If you're just joining us, we're making sour cream blueberry streusel muffins today. We have got our oven preheated to 400. We have made this beautiful streusel that's going on top that's flour and sugar and butter and cinnamon and salt, and we've got it all mixed together, so it's going to make this great little crumb on the top of every muffin. We've made our batter in the last segment. We actually have this sitting here. It's got all the good stuff, including sour cream and blueberries, and it smells so good sitting right here in this bowl. So what I wanted to show you is how I like to make my own little paper liners for my cupcake tin. And you can always go to the store and you can buy the ones that are all fluted and cute that you can you know, tuck down in there, and that's great. I have a ton of those. I use them a lot. But I just thought this was kind of bakery style looking, you know, when you go in there and they're in those neat like little cups and they've got the neat corners and you peel them back. They're just a little bit unique. Makes them a little bit more special. So I thought I would show you all how to do that. So it's just a little bit of folding and a little bit of cutting. It's as easy as that. So what I have here is a parchment sheet. And I actually have these at Unimaze. They're pre-cut down to like fit the size of like the half sheet baking pans, you know, that I use on here all the time. And I have just got a sheet of these. If you don't have these, then you could actually just use, you know, rolls of parchment and just make your own sizes. Um, but these pre-cut sheets that we have at the store, this is what I like to start with. So all I do is fold it in thirds and then fold it in thirds. It's just as easy as that. And you really can just eyeball this. And some of them are not going to be exactly the same size as the others. And y'all, that's okay. Don't panic over it. If you're the kind of person that needs to measure just to feel good about yourself, then just get your ruler out and mark them and make them exactly the same size. Or if you want to start with a template and make a little square, you can just make a little square. 
but I'm gonna eyeball it just like you were folding a business letter in thirds, okay? So I went the long way first, see? And then I'm just gonna fold it again in thirds the short way. And it's gonna slip and slide just a little. It's okay. They're just muffin cups, but they're cute. Y'all are gonna think these are fun. Okay, I'm folding it in thirds that way. And then I'm gonna fold that bottom back up and over, just like that. Isn't that easy? Now, I give this a really good hard crease. Like I'm running my thumb and my fingernails like over those creases because this is the easy part. Instead of opening this up and like trying to cut on all of those folds, you know, like the scored lines, which is kind of hard. If you leave it in this square like this or this kind of rectangle, if you just hold it nice and tight, you can literally cut the very, very edges of these off and you're cutting the folds. So we are going to just cut that corner and this edge, we're cutting the folds. And so by doing this, it's actually gonna come apart in all of the sheets. Isn't that neat? And the last one, and this is gonna make nine because that's how many we did, thirds and thirds. So you're gonna have to do this a couple times by using these sheets. So look, ta -da. how about that? And then all we have to do now is pinch them and fold them into these muffin cups and fill them and put the streusel on the top, just like that. Now what you need to do is have your ice cream scooper ready to go. And we're gonna take one of these and because they're not heavy enough to not pop out, you're gonna have to put it in there and fill it. Put one in there and fill it. Does that make sense? You can't fill all the cut or put them all in and then go back and fill them with the um, batter because you need the batter to hold them. I'm just actually just pressing these right down and in and kind of just making folds just to kind of press it, okay? Then I'm gonna hold it with this hand, take my ice cream scoop, you know, I'm doing it with the hand I don't always use when I do this, so I'm kind of struggling. Okay, and then we're just going to let go of it and just do one scoop down inside. Look, do you see that? Then what we want to do on each one is just pile the crumble topping on. And I like to use a spoon when I'm doing this that has kind of more of like an oblong shape so that it has a point so that it gets kind of down inside this muffin tin. So we've got our little cup and our batter. And then here's our little crumble topping. And I'm just gonna pile it on. Now what you need to do is probably when you're starting this with this crumble topping, let's go ahead and fill these all kind of equally. You know how you can kind of go back and add a little bit more batter to the places that, you know, are a little bit short and, you know, kind of equal them all out. And then the same with the, with the crumb topping. You can kind of cover them equally and then as you're going, kind of eyeball and see with what you've got left over and just kind of fill in so that everything is kind of nice and even and all of them have a really good thick yummy coating of that crumble topping. So let's do another one. Ready? Putting my little paper liner in. Just pressing creases. Just kind of pushing it down in there. And because this is parchment, you really don't need to spray these with anything because it's very, I mean it's virtually, you know, easily releases. Okay, we're gonna fill another one. Fill it with crumble topping. And then we're gonna finish these up and stick them in a 400 degree oven for 20 minutes. And that's it. We're gonna see these beauties when we come back and eat one. Can't wait. This is Cooking Today. Hi, we're back. We are just wrapping up. We have made beautiful sour cream blueberry streusel muffins. They smell this kitchen up, y'all, like you have, would just not even believe. It is cinnamony and sugary, and you can smell the berries. It is just so good and buttery. Oh my goodness. I'm going to take them out of the oven. We've made them in those precious little paper cups that I taught you how to make. Oh my word. Look. Look how pretty. Aren't they beautiful? Aren't those little paper cups so neat, the way that they make those little points? Just something a little bit different. Um, certainly less expensive than going and buying the paper cups because you've probably just got this parchment laying around. And look, there's just, those blueberries have like popped and this one is like bubbling over and 
Yum, 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 yum. So I love taking these out and just setting them on a really pretty big platter. You could also like kind of showcase them on a neat wooden board. Um, and what's kind of fun about these is they're round, but they're a tiny bit misshapen, a little bit more kind of organic and natural looking, not quite so perfectly, you know, perfectly all identically shaped. And that's from using these neat little homemade parchment cups that are on here. Oh, that's the one. That one right there, y'all, has like bubbled over and those blueberries have all burst. Serve this with a little room temperature butter. Storm air tight so that they last for a couple of days. And serve these to your people over the weekend. Take them to a friend who might need them. Oh my goodness, and try not to eat every single one of them while nobody's looking, and that's the truth. I hope you'll try this at home. Love every bite. This is Cooking Today. Cooking Today, sponsored by West Rock Coffee Company. Kitchenware is provided by Una Mays. Groceries provided by Harps, hometown fresh.